So, welcome back. This is going to be my 90 days on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed KDE Plasma Edition. Uh, right now, as of today, current KDE Plasma version 5.27.6, Frameworks version 5.107.0, QT version 5.15.10, kernel version 6.3.7-1, and I'm running the graphics platform Wayland because it's pretty darn good for me. There's not a whole lot I'm going to say different from my 30 days. I'm actually going to go to my own website. This is a selfish plug. Lowtechlinux.com I'm going to click on the Linux And I'm going to click on the 30 days open series tumbleweed. I'm going to touch on some of the things that I said about my 30 day review. Most of it's the same. Zipper's a little slow. Don't care. Wayland and Pipewire both installed by default. I have ran both Wayland and Pipewire since the install and I haven't gone back. I've not been on X since I installed this about 90 days ago. I'm still running the Flatpak version of OBS. I have not removed it and tried the repo version. Why should I if Flatpak's working? Most people want to know about OpenSUSE Tumbleweed Gaming. Absolutely flawless. I can't say more. If you go to ProtonDB and you look at the most successful runnings of windows games on proton db the majority of those are going to be either arch or an arch based system tumbleweed is just as good there's not as many people running tumbleweed i think and therefore that's why there's not as many reviews about tumbleweed working in proton the thing is i don't necessarily think it's because of arch that those games are working so well I think it's because of the rolling release model. Most up-to-date Mesa, most up-to-date Vulcan, most up-to-date Wine, etc. In that case, Tumbleweed's going to be right there with them. Very much on par with Arch because you have the most recent stuff. If you look at the Arch successes and the, say, for example, Ubuntu failures, it's going to be primarily because... Ubuntu does that LTS thing where they don't have the most recent stuff. So OpenSUSE a Tumbleweed right there on par as far as gaming with Arch and any of the Arch derivatives because you have the most recent Mesa, Vulcan, etc. I can't explain enough about how stable Tumbleweed feels. I don't feel the need to have to go look at a wiki to see what's going to break if I do an update today. I just don't feel the need. It's not going to break. If it does, there's an automatic there's an automatic reset button more or less in OpenSUSE products. The syntax for Zipper, where I said I'm going to have to get used to it. I'm pretty much used to it now. I know that when I when I want to install something and I know the name of it, and again, I'll use Play on Linux as an example. I'm going to search. I'm going to zipper search Play on Linux because it'll find Play on Linux with all small letters and it'll say, This is what I found. But if you try to install Play on Linux with all small letters, it won't install because it's capital P, Play, capital O on capital L Linux. It will not install. It will say, Do you mean Play on Linux with? correct syntax and, and I prefer that it said do you mean this one and with a question mark you hit yes and it installs it but it doesn't you have to retype it one of the very first things I noticed when moving large files onto a thumb drive that it got the remaining time correct I was wrong in that it does not get the timing correct it'll tell you it's done and it's not done yet. It's not as bad as Monjero was. It still does it. 
I still move big files and I go do something else. When I come back, it's done. So I have a dual monitor set up. And as you can see, I have nothing but a black screen on my main window. So my other screen has a background, it looks normal. Main screen does not. Oh, well, this is what my main screen looks like when it comes back from a turn the monitor off mode. Now I still can do buttons. I have Yakuwake set to F F12. I can do that. I can push the super key and get my menu. So I can go to system settings. Show you what I'm talking about. I have energy screen energy saving. Switch on after 90 minutes. This is what it looks like when I come back. Which most of the time isn't a problem. I slept all night. I went to work during the day. Came back home. This is what it looks like. I hit Yak Awake F12. I do a pseudo zipper up. And if it does any updates, which is almost daily, then I go ahead and I apply the updates and then I just reboot the system. And it comes back just fine. If I, if I come back and it's got this, I do the control alt delete I do the log out and then I log back in and and it's fine so I'm I'm gonna do that now it will stop the recording I'll pick it right back up so log out and I've logged back in and everything's fine and dandy I'm pretty sure that's a KDE plasma thing and not an open SUSE thing. I have four computers behind me. None of them have a dual monitor set up. None of them do that. This is only on my dual monitor system. Only time it does that. Again, pretty sure it's a KDE thing because Monjero did that too. The other thing I want to touch on is I did a video on my YouTube channel where I said OpenSUSE Tumbleweed Live Session will work as an installer, even, they, even though they say don't do it. And I add to that, OPI is awesome. Don't install with a live session. I was wrong. This is my I was wrong video. I did it on a couple of computers and it worked just fine. I did it after the fact. I did it on a couple of computers. And upon reboot, I got to, uh, the... Uh, the dreaded kernel panic and nothing I did would get around it other than reinstalling OpenSUSE without using the live session and then it worked just fine. So don't use OpenSUSE Tumbleweed or don't use OpenSUSE live session to install your system. Just like they say, I was wrong, they were right. There you go. However, OPI is still awesome. I'm going to touch on that just a little bit. Uh, Pac-Man is their user repository for OpenSUSE, similar to Arch, or AUR and Arch. OPI is the installer for that repository, similar to Yay, or Pac-Man with Arch you can install from the AUR. So I'm going to touch on that just a little bit and bring up a terminal. After you do your first install, or after you get it installed, you should install OPI. You just should. And it's as simple as pseudo zipper in OPI. I already have it. It's going to tell me it's up to date. Already installed. Once you have it installed, sudo OPI codex. Do I want to install? I really don't because I already have. But sudo OPI codex. You don't have to include in or install. Just OPI Codex. Now you can install other things with this. Just like you can do from the AUR. You can install Google Chrome from the AUR. Same here. You can sudo OPI Google Chrome. You want to install Chrome from Google Repository. It's taking it from the Google Repository. So after you get it installed, it's going to be it's going to have the repository. And when you do a zippered up, it's going to check the Google repository and 
if there's an update, it's going to go ahead and install that update. You don't have to do OPI ever again for Google Chrome. It's that simple. Awesome. Again, no, I already have it. You can do sudo OPI teams. Okay. There's a lot of possibilities just by saying teams. So teams for Linux is going to be MS teams. And that's the one that I was referring to. Since it didn't know which one I was referring to, it's going to say, here's my list of teams options. Pick one. All the way to team speak. I mean, anything that has teams in it, it's going to show it to you. You pick a number, it will install whichever one you pick. I don't want any of these. I'm just using an example. Zero for quit. Opi is awesome. Other than that, I really don't have a lot. My biggest gripe is that black screen that I get when I'm waking the computer up again. It only happens on my dual monitor system. Doesn't happen on any of the four behind me that do not have a dual monitor system. I'm certain that's a KDE plasma thing. I'm going to touch on the installer just a little bit. I have been known to poo-poo the installer probably a little more than it deserves. And I think I said it once in another video, but I'll say it again here. The installer for OpenSUSE, it's, it's based on YAST or YAST2. It's not pretty. And it's not terribly intuitive, but once you've done it a few times, and I've done it countless times now on computers, in VMs, virtual machines, I've done it countless times now. And now that I understand it more, I realize that it is, it, it really is simple. It's not as simple as some of them out there, but it really is simple but it has a lot of power underneath. It's kind of like KDE Plasma. Simple on the face, but you can really dig in there and do a lot of things with it. I'm also going to touch on YAST. If you ever see a video about OpenSUSE that doesn't talk about YAST, please direct me to it because I don't know of one. Why shouldn't I? Because I am talking about OpenSUSE. At this point, I don't know how great YAST is at this point. I used it a few times. I added the Pac-Man repositories. You can also do that in Terminal. But I did use YAST to, to add the user repositories. I did use YAST to change my Grub menu countdown from 8 to 2. Um... You know, I've done a couple of things with it. It's a little disappointing that I can't go in there and see my hardware and click a button to get the installed drivers or the needed drivers to install in YAST. It'd be a perfect spot for YAST. It'd be a perfect thing for YAST to do. And I complained about that before. Um, YAST is... If, if you find a tool in YAST that you need it's awesome but at this point in Linux I don't know that it's that awesome they need to really update yes they really do but as far as the system and it's running and it updating and it's rolling tumbleweed is awesome I can't say enough about it enough good things about it absolutely one of the best rolling release systems you can find so this video is kind of short if if you're looking for a really long video on a 90 days with tumbleweed this ain't it it runs great it updates flawlessly it's solid as a rock it games great uh, i'm on wayland i'm recording with obs there's just, I'm not going to show any games. It games great. I'm not going to show you any games. If you want to see me running games on Humbleweed, 
go back and check out the 30-day review of Tumbleweed that I did, and I do show a couple of games I play. Path of Exile, America's Army, and I think there was another one. And I don't even remember what it was. But, yeah, I mean, it runs games fabulous because it has the most recent stuff. And you can get the most recent stuff on a regular basis rolling without worrying about your system messing up or getting a grub bug. But, yeah, I mean, give Tumbleweed a try. Yeah, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's great. Anyway, that's all this. That's all I've got for this 90-day review. Now I'm keeping it. Until next time, thanks for watching.